What's up guys? Welcome to K3 TV. Kevin here to hit you with another Alita Battle Angel update. Before we start the video, change.org, the petition site for the sequel, is now at 13,000 supporters' signatures. They're trying to get to 15,000, and within two or three days, it's gone up 1,000 signatures. That is amazing um, to see how much this fan base, this Alita army, has grown and it keeps growing by the second. It used to be by the day, by word of mouth, but now it's by the second. The army, the Alito army, is only going to get bigger from here. And, um, you know, good job, guys. And so, yeah, if you haven't signed it, you know, what are you waiting for? Sign it. Like, let's, let's, let's show our support for the movie. You know, let's show James Cameron and Robert Rodriguez, you know, let's give them some purpose. You know, let's give those old guys some purpose in life, you know, um, to help out the, the fans and let's get the sequel made. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check that out. So yeah, uh, today's article is is by Hiptoro. It says Alita Battle Angle 2 sequel in progress. I'm not even going to take this article seriously because, uh, you know, they can't even spell correctly. But I just want to, you know, talk about Alita for a second. I was at my friend's wedding this weekend, and I was talking, you know, I was spreading the Alita word, you know, and uh, the groomsmen had some relatives over that were from France, and apparently everyone in France has seen this movie. The people in France that I talked to, you know, they all love the movie. Some of them, you know, went out and and got the, the mangas and started reading reading those you know the people in France you know they love their movies you know especially American movies I asked everyone that 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 were from France if they seen it and if they liked it and, and they all said yes they seen it and, and they all liked it if they didn't like it they thought it was okay okay but none of them disliked it and I asked you know some of our some of the people from here in the states if they've seen it and I asked the the groomsmen I was like, you know, we were, we, were, we were a little drunk, and, I, and then Alita popped in my head. You know, um, this movie, again, it's, it's been two months, and it's still stuck in my head. But um, I asked him, like, hey, hey, bro, have you seen Alita? And he's like, what the hell is Alita? <laughs> so, you know, that, that, was, that was pretty funny. And, uh, you know, in the States, it's, it's not that big. And, yeah, that's tragic, you know, because uh, all over the world, it's, it's, it's getting big. It's huge, you know. People from 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 overseas really dig the movie. Um, shout outs to Summer Jazz. I've been chatting with him under the Alita videos, and he's actually from the Philippines. And what's crazy is that in the Philippines, new IPs and new movies and foreign movies that are released there, they're only there for a week. And when Alita came out, it got extended for two weeks. And since it overperformed in, in, in the Philippines, it got extended to a full month. And what I know is that the only country, the only other country that got, a, that got an extended release was China. You know, the United States didn't even get an extended release. You know, like, usually movies stay in the theaters for, you know, well over two or three months. And and with Alita, it's, it's only... It's 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 basically gone after um, two months. For example, this box office mojo um, stat right here that I want to show you guys. After its second week, it dropped seven hundred theaters. It, it dropped from seven hundred theaters, and then the week after that, it dropped another seven hundred. So it's it's dropping by like a hundred percent. You know, usually they would go from like 50%, 50%. They would lose 50% every week. But with the Lita, it was dropping by 100%. You know, look, look at these numbers. 706 after its second week. Third week, sorry. <clears throat> Another 700 after its fourth week. Another 700 after its fifth week and then another 300 after its sixth week and then back up to 700 after its seventh week so it's crazy how this movie is getting pushed out of the theater so quickly 
and I know a lot of people that seen it, you know, wish they would have seen it more times before it left the theaters because, you know, it, like, it's a movie that needs to be seen in the theaters. When I first saw the trailer, I, 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 I wasn't that interested, but it was an interesting property and because James Cameron produced it and because Robert Rodriguez directed I'm I'm a big fan of Robert Rodriguez. You know, I read his book, uh, Rebel Without a Crew. That actually inspired me to make my own movies, you know, which you see on, on the channel. And because of that, like that's that that's what interests me. The trailers didn't interest me that much. But once I saw the movie, well, I was blown away. You know, and just like you guys, you know, you guys were blown away too. That's why you guys are watching these updates. So, so yeah, that's crazy. So the Philippines got an extended release, not just China, the Philippines. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this article. So this article written by hiptoro.com. It uh, says, Alita Battle Angle 2, sequel in, the, in sequel in progress. I'm not even going to take this article seriously because they can't even spell it. Angel correctly. It's supposed to be Alita Battle Angel 2, sequel in progress. But, you know, um, they start off the article by saying it's an, an, an adaptation by Yukito Kishiro. It talks about the box office profits. It shares a little plot details. Um, versus quote. All right, Ca Cameron's comments. James Cameron, however, okay. So the, the article says James Cameron, however, refuses to say anything substantial. He revealed that although he has plans for his second film, he will not be discussing anything in concrete terms. He added, "It's cheeky to set up a sequel before you're proven. That can blow back in your face." <laughs> he was probably being modest, you know. James Cameron being the man, you know. He knew that it was it was going to be a success. So here's his quote. He said, "We think of something like Warcraft that was clearly set up with the intention to do sequels, and then it becomes a mockable. And then it becomes mockable because the film doesn't succeed. But I, I don't worry about that. But I don't worry about stuff like that. If the film if the film fails, it's its own punishment. You know, it doesn't matter if we get mocked up." on top of having failed. Alright, so nothing new. Uh, I think I covered this in a, a previous video. Um, there's not a lot of news recently coming out with Alita Battle Angel, but, but what I do want to say is that his latest Avatar sequels, um, he just casted Michelle Yu and possibly Vin Diesel. Because if you check Vin Diesel's Instagram, he posted something with James Cameron. He, 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 was, at the, he was on set of the Avatar sequels. So, um, so yeah, Vin Diesel might be in, in Avatar. Um, he'd, he'd, be a, he'd be a good fit for that franchise. Again, that franchise is... I've seen the first movie... Um, it was okay, you know. Um, can't really say much about it. Um, I'm more of a, a Little Battle Angel fan. Um, Where's that? Okay, here it is. So, if there are sequels in talks, I want to touch upon these crucial dates that he has planned for his Avatar sequels. Basically, this article just says that, you know, Michelle Yu, the gorgeous Michelle Yu, and I'm not saying that just because she's Asian, but because she holds up well. She's like 50-something, and she still, like, keeps in shape, so God bless her. And it also has this, this link where it says Vin Diesel joined the cast of James Cameron's Avatar sequels. We don't know. Only time will tell. But, um, where the release? Okay, so here we go. All right, so the first... Avatar sequel is set to release next year in December, okay? And then the remaining sequels will come shortly after that. So part two comes out in December 18th of 2020. The sequel, part three, comes out on December 17th, 2021. 
followed by part four in 2024 and part five in 2025 if those two sequels make enough money so that leaves 2022 and 2023 what I believe is that the uh, no I should say our Alita Battle Angel sequel will begin filming around 2020 or 2021 around there so as soon as Avatar 2 and 3 wrap up I think James Cameron is going to jump back into Alita Battle Angel help Robert produce it and what's crazy is I think they are going to film it back to back they're going to film 20 no they're going to film part 2 and part 3 back to back because one they're going to save money and two because 2022 and 2023 is open in December so part two is looking to come out in 2022 and part three is coming out in 2023 if they film back to back they save a ton of money the the production studio that does all the CGI work the lightning storm and Weta will produce back to back on both the sequels and that saves them a ton of money, saves the, saves the studio, Disney, a ton of money. And they can maximize the profits on Alita and they will keep everyone happy. That is crazy because that is what it's looking to be. Robert Rodriguez has a, has, a, has a project currently with Netflix. So once he's done with that, I think Rod, James Cameron is going to pull him in to uh, do, this, do the sequels. You know, so it's looking like 2022 Battle Angel, Battle Angel, Alita Battle Angel 2, and 2023 Battle Battle Angel, Alita Battle Angel 3. How cool is that? So yeah, I just want to share that with you guys. It's looking like it's going to happen, given the box office success, the international box office success. You know, movies these days, like when they come out in the States, like... If it doesn't do well, they have, you know, they have the international box office to save them. And the international box office saved the fuck out of Alita, you know. And during a press tour um, in China, the MC asked, told uh, James Cameron, uh, I'm not sure if you guys have seen the video. I'm pretty sure some of you guys have seen the video. And she asked them straight up. If China makes this a, it makes this a success, will you come back and make more? And James Cameron said yes. And in China, Alita holds the box office record for largest IMAX opening for Fox. You know that has to say a lot. So, so yeah, if. If Disney wants to touch Alita's circuit boards, you know, they'll do the right thing, we hope. Make a proper sequel, make it a hardcore James Cameron film. James Cameron makes some hardcore movies, you know. Um, he even, Avatar, even if Avatar wasn't that hardcore, it had hardcore themes to it, you know, like deforestation and... <sighs> overpopulation and you know depletion of natural resources those are those are hardcore themes you know um, they're really real and grounded you know um, so yeah it's a good time to be a movie fan you know um, I hope I, I think Alita Battle Angel has made a lot of people love movies again you know not just myself you know I kind of lost my love for movies and my and my enthusiasm to go to the theaters and and see movies but Alita has brought that taste back in my mouth and you know thank you James Cameron thank you Robert Rodriguez and thank you Rosa Salazar
also John Landau for, for making this movie. So, so yeah. Also, guys, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. Um, but mo most importantly, you know, keep spreading the movie. Keep spreading the name of Lita, you know, because we're, we're doing good, you know. Uh, there's so much progress, and there's only more progress that that needs to be done, you know, until part two comes out. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one, and peace out. And if you enjoy our videos, please support us on Patreon.com so we can make an X-Man edition of Prison Fans. Thank you.